Hello and welcome to Yobs on Bikes. Now, today on the show, the slug carries a bike. Our guest looks off into the distance. And we do a giveaway. What we're going to give away? No, it's his all... dog. <laughs> this. We've got quite a show lined up for you today, haven't we, guys? Yeah. It is. I think the best so far. It's an upgrade from last time. I mean, thanks the best so far is not much to say, seeing as there's only been one before this. Two. But it's definitely better. Yeah, we've increased our budget by a. a Approximately. A good £10. Yeah, exactly. And um, to prove it, we're going to start off with uh, Thomas on a tri bike, who is uh, this week decided to take on a very iconic bike brand the Brompton. Is this how it's meant to be written? I think it was a very practical bike. I think that's the reason for it. Um, Did you need to put two people on? No. Oh, where we go? No. Well, um, should we do a time lap now? You ready? Where are we going to do the time lap? There. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, alright, let's start here anyway. Start the starting line. Ready for it? Wait, no, I need to find a starting line. Go! Time lap. And this is the time lap. Thank 
incredible bike. I mean, it's so compact when you fold it up. It's incredible. You can take it on the train. I mean, you can cycle it to work and hide it in a suitcase. Anything really. Definitely worth a purchase. So uh, that was looked very uncomfortable to yeah. us. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think it's only good for trips to work. So not for uh, roads. Not for roads or off-road. It's made for roads, isn't it? Not for big roads. No. Just it's quite, downhill. A, quite a small road. <laughs> yes. But um, was it comfortable? On downhill, maybe a bit. It right. wasn't comfortable. No. Does it have a quite uncomfortable seat though? There's a seat. No, it's just there's no suspension. Oh, right. And what what was the best thing about it, would you say? The compactability, you can literally fold it up and put it in your suitcase, and no one will notice. Although, it, it is quite hard to unfold, though, isn't it? It's not once you get the, the gist of it, you see. Yeah. No, we, 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 uh, we gave the Brompton to the slug, and we, we were trying to find out how he did. But this week... The slug has gotten a bit of an upgrade. Mm. should come over now and see if everything's okay and the slug's ready. You ready? I think that's a yes. Kicks up dirt as he starts along the tarmac and carries on with that down into the cross country. His wheels spinning up rocks and gravel everywhere. Now he speeds onto the chicane. This is really quite hard to keep your balance in this particular part of the course. Past the bush and uh, he's lost a bit of speed up the hill but now should regain himself and be able to regain that speed down this hill. Past the tree and nearly down to the finishing line. If you're wondering why the slug wears these professional clothes it's because they're sheer streamlineness makes him a very very fast racer now he uh, comes down the hill past the, the grannies and over the line quite a race getting ready to go Here we go, the starter is starting, waving the flag. Oh, that nothing's happening. Um ah, there we go. Off he goes. Into the disappearance. <laughs> no, I meant distance. Here he comes, past the old lady's house, and onto the track. Past the piece of sh and <laughs> Riding along the path at some speed past the bushes. Along the path at great speed. Coming faster on the back straight. Wow, this, tr this is tremendous speed coming down the back straight. This may be even faster than the other bikes. I don't know how. Because this is a no this is not an off-road bike. Down the finishing straight. And across the line. Woo! Clop, 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 clop. What a run! And he 
He's there. We go. He's off and down the track with not a lot of speed. But this is a professional's tactic: start off slowly, then gain momentum. Um. It does look quite uncomfortable. I mean, I'm not surprised because the bike is designed for roads and this is quite a bumpy track. Off-road track. Um, here we go, past the chicane, past the bush. And now onto the straight, which he will no doubt build speed on. Hello, what's this? It's an interesting method of riding. He's going to lose precious seconds for this. But he's not... No, he's he's not riding it. He's uh, pick, picked it up and uh, has proceeded to walk off with it. Um, very original method. Not sure how effective it will be, but uh, we'll have a see. Yes, not very successful, although not many of these slugs attempts so far have been. Um, this is probably because we haven't adjusted the seat or I uh, couldn't find the uh, equipment to uh, adjust the seat with. He uh, is, proceeds to the finish line and will uh, end in a climatic finish. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Lawson. Mr. Uh, Mr. Graham. How are you today? Excellent. Uh, well, who are you? I'm Lawson. Um, <laughs> well, well. Now, what, what do you know about bikes, my friend? Nothing. He's oh, in, he, okay. He's incredibly famous, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's. You, he's you not all, the popular you all kids. will have. You all will have heard of him. Uh, do you have any talents? Well, I can, um... Beautiful. That was... Yeah. Excellent. What do you think of bikes, I guess, because this is a bike show? Um... I think they're quite good. They're useful, because, like, you can just go anywhere you want. Like, <coughs> yeah. You, did you get here on a bike? I did. You did? What, what model was it? What, what make? It was Siddle's bike. But I don't know. Excellent. That would be a giant. <laughs> a very, very good make of, of bike. Yeah. No, as you'll notice, uh, the other presenter of the show, Samuel, is not here today. Um, so we're going to have to edit him into here. Um, but he is having fun in Snowdonia as we speak. Yes, instead of being here on our, our mirac miraculous show. So, you're our first guest, really. What, what, uh, what have you got to say for the fans? Well, the 30 fans that you have. The 30 fans. Yeah, yeah. Our, all of um, our fans. Yeah. Well... I don't know. <laughs> Do you like bikes? <laughs> I think it's time for him to uh, to test out a bike. Or two. Or two. Now. Yeah. Now yeah. what bike he may be testing, you may be wondering. Oh. We've yeah. decided to give him the giant. Talon. The giant Talon. Because it's a good starter bike, and it's not too jolty. The brakes are, well, as I said before, yeah. they're very stiff. Violent. But... They, it is a good starter bike, I'd say, for for this uh, for this episode, for, for the first guest of the of the season, really. Now it may be a bit hard for you to get on because, as we all know, you are small. Um, so we can have to raise the seat down a bit. Samuel. Oh, quite interesting. Good man. interview there. Quite, quite a man, Mr. Mm. Mr. Graham. Pretty deep, that. Samuel, it's the time. Come on, y'all, it's get the clock. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> For this episode on Test Clock, we've decided to test a bike against one of a biker's most feared enemies. Mud. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any. It's the only problem. What's that? Oh look, some mud. mud. Oh, some mud! For eye protection.
Right, what we've done here is attached a white piece of paper onto my seat, which replicates me sitting on my bike. Right. So what we're going to do is spin the tyre, see how much mud gets on here. Whoever has least amount of mud on the uh, piece of paper wins. And, yes. uh, and has every, the best. to every splodge on the paper... Counts as one point. One point. Whoever so has the... Least lowest. amount of points wins, so it's like gold. As 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 drops. 20 drops. Very small ones, but 20 drops. Yeah. Oh. Okay, on to the next bike. So this is another one of my bikes. Um, as you can see, a much smaller model of uh, mudguards, but will it affect the overall spraying? Let's find out. Right, now let's go over to the wall and find out how it did. Oh, that's done badly. Oh, no, you're fine. That's you're done badly. Done right, I'll count this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty
Wow, that just about ah! rounds up today's episode. Charlie's Hope nearly you out. Enjoyed. Get out. And for more, yeah. your episode. But first, I'm wait, ah! Thomas. <laughs> we also have a special thing for you. Um, we decided before the end of the episode, well, that we're going we to would do take a giveaway. No, <laughs> nah. we would take all. What we're going to give away? No, it's his all... dog. <laughs> this could six of hearts. All you have to do <laughs> is type. All you have to do is type the word "yolt" into the comments section, and you could get that card before I eat it and kill these two. Be a very well. special Veruca. No, his name is Fred. Not... Why is that funny? Why are you laughing? It's not funny. <laughs>